everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and we are working our way down the page types. Uh, so we are officially on, I believe, if I haven't miscounted, we are on da, 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 large envelope. Okay, so what I did was I sourced the largest envelopes that I have right now, and these are, I guess, um, uh, not that large, but they are large-ish, and I'm going to show you four different ways. Oh, that's my belly. <laughs> you can use this in your junk journal. Um, and this is kind of fun. These are the never endless uh, page ideas for junk journals. So um, let's say you're, you are struggling to uh, fill up your junk journal and you're wondering, oh, I love the concept of a junk journal, but I just have no idea what to do with these blank pages. They just throw me. I get finished one page. It seems like such a, a Herculean effort and I flip and um, uh, oh my God, I'm, I'm faced with stark white again. And what do I do, Pam? What do I do? Well, there's a million and one things you can do. And this whole series is built around taking one idea and using it four different ways in your journal, but make the one idea look different four times. So this junk journal just happens to have four signatures. That's why I'm doing it four, uh, four different ways. Uh, if Even if you have a uh, junk journal with one signature, you can do it four different ways in the one signature. So you're not limited or, or, or you know, bound up by the number of signatures, but it just makes it easy if you have four signatures and you do uh, four different things, or if you have three signatures, do it three different ways. Ta-da! Okay, there we go. We like to keep things easy, efficient, and um, uh, fun around here. So i am just grabbed these. These are new old stock. Uh, these are old vintage envelopes from a grab bag at a thrift store somewhere. Uh, sometimes when you get old vintage envelopes, uh, maybe this one has a tiny tear in it. We can repair that. Um, a little tiny tear. No big deal. And uh, also that adds to the uh, distressed look sometimes, um, which we, we love to, to play with, some of us. Okay. Uh, the other thing is if they're stuck, somebody suggested this the other day, you can steam them open. So if you find that some of your old envelopes are stuck, just steam them open with a uh, an iron or over the kettle, something like that. Just be mindful not to burn yourself, uh, but that's a way around that. And you don't always have to open the envelope. Sometimes you want to seal the envelope because you're going to use it differently. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is a, one I want to show you first of all. Um, oh, I'm just getting a crazy idea here, but, 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 but settle down, Pam, settle down. Okay. Um, I, we're going to do the across spread. Okay. And uh, you can open any pages in your junk journal. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our envelope and we're going to fold it in half. Okay. And it's always nice to have a bone folder. All right. And you can decorate before or after, but I think I'm going to decorate after because that's kind of my, my thing. Okay. And do I want the flap? That's the question. Do I want the flap at all? Um, now you could do it like that. Let's actually do it like that. Let's use the flap. Let's keep the flap intact and maybe let's ink it first before we get all too, too, you know, piggly wiggly about this in place. Sometimes it's a little easier to ink before and uh, going on the realm of using different colors. I was seemingly falling over a lot of greens the other day. So let me see if I can even find one green now. There's blue, blue, pink, mahogany. Oh, there's a green. Okay. We have da 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 da. Peeled paint, distress oxide. Okay, let's just have a go at this. This is what peeled paint looks like. And we're rubbing in. We got the right, we got the right dauber color. I put a little uh, green embroidery thread on there to remind myself. And I hope you're having a fantabulous uh, junk journal paper crafting sort of day, hour, minute, whatever you got. It's a good time well spent if you get to play with your papers. Um, a lot of us, uh, we are legion. We find great peace in our papers, great fun, great enjoyment, great escape. Um, you're not alone. Uh, we're all over the world and we're joining you in your uh, uh, fun times playing with the paper. So let's get down with this. We're just a bunch of crazy folks who love to play with the papers. That's who we are. We love to play with the papers. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to emphasize the shapedness of the envelopedness of this all. And I, I love to do that inner crease, so I'm just doing this to emphasize inner crease of the shapedness of it all. And do I have the back? No, no, you only have the back if you decorate the back. Sally Sue, silly Sally Sue. I'm on to my silliness. Yes, this morning it's happening. Sunshine is close. What's up, Sonny? What we was here a second ago. He's investigating. He's all, 
He's all awake pants. Yeah, he's running around and, and doing his awake pants little boy maneuvers in the morning. He has things to check, toys to, uh, you know, account for. They're all over the house. It looks like a, a dog toy bomb <laughs> went off in here all the time. But I love it like that. That to me lets me know he's there. Yep. So um, there we go. I mean, it's already cute and pretty, right? Okay, so the whole idea with this one is we are just going to glue it in place. The whole thing with this is you want to... Oh, I'm going to open this flap. Oh, I missed a spot. Let me put that in there. Okay. Okay. So this one we're going to put here. Now, I want a little more drama. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't need to do the back. Why? Because it's going to be glued down. Now, you could sew this in. Okay. That's a possibility if you, if you thought about that early enough. I didn't. I'm already assembled. So I think I'm going to just glue this in and just play with these two sides. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And glue of choice today for this fine um, project is going to be ba -ba -ba, fabric fix glue, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Um, I have to check behind me and make sure I'm not rolling over a puppy foot. No, all is clear. And um, I am just, oh, not, I'm not actually gonna use this one because I have transferred it in, into the old Sugar Bells icing piping bottle for Easy glue streamage. And here we go. I just get a thinner bead of glue this way. And I'm just going around the world, making sure to get kind of close to the corners, but not right in them. Because we don't want ooze out. We might get a little ooze out. That's okay. Okay, so coming down here. And now I'm going to... You can use your bone folder to help tuck into the crease. You want to go lightly. You don't want to pop right through your paper. And uh, then the best thing to do is just close your book. Oh, is your book. And now you gotta find out where it went. Oh, there it is, okay. All right, so now just check for glue ooze. You might have some. It happens, it happens, yep, mm-hmm. All right. Now, now the next exciting thing is, what did we create? We created two separate pockets. We have a pocket here, and we have a pocket, do 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 here. So now we get to um, fill them and decorate this and decorate the page a little bit. Okay, I found a pile of scraps that I happen to be working with right here, and I have this fundle that I just opened up <clears throat> and pulled some stuff out of it, and I thought, well, let me draw from the fundle, pull from the fundle, and we can put fun things in here. Now, let's see if this picture would fit. No, it's too wide. What about this picture? Yeah. Oh, you know, he reminds me. Um, we have this area here in Tarpon Springs where they dive for the cross, the young boys. Uh, on, I think it's uh, Pentecost, oh, don't quote me, it's like somewhere around Christmas, something like that. Um, that might work well, or we could even put him on the front. That would be very attractive. I think he looks really nice there. Um, we may just put you here. Um, all right, so now let's uh, decorate this little sassy pants up. And what do I have in front of me? I have some wallpaper. And so maybe we are going to, uh, let me grab my little cutter so I can cut here with you. And I like this little border. Maybe we can use that. Let's see if this cuts nicely. Oh, it does. Good thing. Thankfully. Yay. And the wallpaper, that's wallpaper. It also makes a nice thickness for um, little pockets and tucks and things like that. Now, just know because this is the border of what this is. Your pocket doesn't necessarily have to only be inside the border of what this is. <clears throat> let's say... Um, Let's say that might be a nice little pocket, but maybe we want to extend it a little further because maybe we want to tuck other things in here. Maybe we do. Okay, so let me just make this a little skinnier. Okay. Now let's see what we got. Oh, I like that. All right, do I want to ink it? Maybe. Maybe I do. Okay. Now wallpaper sometimes takes ink. Sometimes it doesn't because it's a bit of a plasticky surface depending on the wallpaper, but this one is more of a dry papery wallpaper surface. So I think we're going to be okay. We get some color on there. All right. So that I'm going to use that as a little mini pocket at the bottom. And then I'm just going to come along, coming along and making a little pocket, which I can put cool little things in. Yeah. Okay. It's one of those mornings apparently, or afternoons, wherever you're at. Okay, now I think I would like to put something there behind and I'm going to grab my punched. I have this lovely, oh goodness, it's overflowing. We really need to do something here. Um, this uh, little tray box of punched things. And I think I'm just going to fish something out. Let me see, that would look nice. 
I'm gonna go deeper. I got a lot of stuff in here. Okay. All right, let me pull some something from the nether worlds out here. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, I like, I like, I like this little guy. Oh, like a woman working. We have a stamp sticker. We have a bird. We have this little one. Oh, look at a little cluster made it in here. I'll put you over there. You're not, you don't really belong. <laughs> we have these flowers that were cut out from somewhere. Um, and here's some newspaper. All right. And a little tag and little oddball things. All right. We'll just pull everything out as we do. Oh, here I did some rubber stamping on just some uh, random book page. And they, so I just, I think they came out so great, pretty. Sometimes you don't need a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? We, we, uh, we don't, we don't need as much. Okay. That, okay. That looks nice. Okay, we're trying things on for size. I could put one of these here, one of these here. But no, but no, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, let's, uh, these are kind of uh, matching. Matching but different. So you can just take an old book page and put a cool little rubber stamp on it. And you've got decorations for days, I'm telling you. You can turn these into page tabs. Oh, that looks really kind of cute. Um, you could do them catty corner, put them on here. Could put them there, but I think I'm going to go here. Yeah, I just I don't know. That's where I'm going, and I'm going to use Scotch Create glue stick, my favorite glue stick, and it's just a good old reliable glue stick. Sometimes it's easier to glue the page. Okay, that might be a little over gluing there, but you know we work with it. That's okay. All right, so you got your stuff out. Are you playing? Are you playing along? Are you just watching, or am I in the background and you're doing something else? I take no offense. Absolutely not. I just think it's really cool. We're hanging out together and uh, goofing around. Okay, so I have that little pocket, but now I could actually get this lady in there. Um, oh, you might go very nicely there. I like that a lot. Um, but I wish it was actually on this side because she'd be looking into the center of the page, but I could live with that. I mean, that's okay. Maybe she's looking back. She wants to look at a previous page. I think, um, let me, oh, that's kind of far away for you, sorry. Uh, there's palm trees in the back. And this could be Florida or maybe banana trees. Uh, or Cuba, or something like that. I don't know, but yeah, it's always a mystery. I love that, though. I love that about it all. Yay! Okay, what else do we have here? We want to put some... Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a very nice green thing. Well, that won't fit in either, but we could put this here. I know, but we can't put them all there, Pam. you got to use your pockets. Okay, we're going to use our pockets. You'll find stuff to put in the pockets. Oh, this would be perfect. Look at that. <clears throat> this is a page from an old diary. Um, it's uh, This diary is actually dated... 1897. I don't know if that's when this was written in, but that's what it was dated originally. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and put that in here. Well, maybe we want to do some decorating here. You don't, don't settle down, Pam, and, and, and just use what you pulled out. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, okay, we have a little guy. Okay, we have a little punch out. Oh, oh I'm super close again, sorry. We have a little guy, a little super close punch out. That's kind of cute. That'd be cute there. All right. I thought, I, you know, funny thing, I feel like we need stickers for some reason. <laughs> Go get some stickers. All right, I'll just grab a pile. I don't know what I grabbed. I just got, I just got a bunch of stickers here. Let's see, put some stickers on here. That might be pretty. Oh, this is pretty. It's kind of the same color theme, this lovely little lady. And uh, I think we have somewhat like her on uh, some digi kits, but those are really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay. And then, uh, okay, here. Oh, I like that. We're looking very neutrally pretty. Uh -huh. Liking it, liking it. And so, you know, you can just play and decorate and they don't actually have to fit in the exact spot that you think and they can go, they can cross the border. They can break the edge. Um, that's fun to do too. Here's a big mushroom. I kind of like that. That's cool. Up here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Um, we got some flowers going on. All right. So let's put in what we were going to put in. Where'd that thing go? That really cool old writing piece. Couldn't have gone far. I, I didn't go anywhere with it. Is this it? No. Really? All right. I got to go find it. Hold on. Okay. I think I, I retrieved it. And I think I'm going to put it in here. It's going to fit perfectly. Oh, look at that. Look at that. In you go. No fussing. Right in there. Okay. And, and away from the spine so it doesn't crease. All right. There we go. Well, we got to check for back glue. Yep. Check for black back glue. All right. So we have some plain there. And we want to tuck something in here, but something different. We don't want to put the same thing in. No. 
Okay, so maybe we're going to cut... Uh, let me get some rubber stamps. I got a, a drawer full of them here, like mega drawer full of them. All right, let's use you. And, oh, you're kind of cool. Let's pull you up. All right, what do we got? This smorgasbord of whatnot. All right, so I think I'm going to use black. Yep. You got to find the black. Okay, can't find the black, so we'll go with different color. And we'll go with burgundy. Sure, why not? This is aged mahogany because it was here. All right, there we go. And we're going to stamp. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I like that. I'm going to move to another one there. You don't have to limit yourself to one, you know. You can do more than one stamp. And I like the way it carries over onto the white, kind of filling that in for the eye. There. It crosses over. Sorry, crosses over, crosses over. That's kind of cool, right? Maybe we one there. Oh, look at that. Oh, how much I have there? Oh, look, we're going to town now. Okay, there we go. All right, so you can have a lot of fun. Got to remember what toys you have. You don't need a lot of stamps, but sometimes one or two is not bad. Okay, where's the green again? Now, I haven't played with these much, but I'm very excited to play with them. I just got these new, uh, their label, uh, our frame stamps. Let's see what we can do here. Uh. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, you like that? I like that too. I could put a word in there. I could put a word. Let me get a word. A word stamp. Word, word, word. Um, how about vintage? That's a good word, right? Vin vintage. Okay. Now, I did find this black. Let me work with this black. All right. I don't know if the word's going to fit in there. Probably not, but that's okay. Let's just see what happens here. All right. I'll put an angle. There, it's just barely there, but it's present. Lousy ink. <laughs> uh, but it's present enough for me. I'm okay with that. Okay, so we need something in here. You don't have to put something in every little spot, but you can. Like maybe you want to leave this spot open so you show them you can put something in, and then you leave one open. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just leave that open. Um, I do like that. I have this little butterfly that, that seems to be... We already have a... We don't want to over... I don't want to over sticker. So a little sticker, a little stamping, a little uh, wallpaper, some a rubber stamp, little uh, old diary. Yeah, we get to get by. It's fun. Oh, that's kind of cool too. We could tuck that in there. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's very nice. And maybe that would be a nice background for this lady. So they could put that somewhere else where they would like to. But that's just giving her a background. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I like that. Yeah. Almost looks wedding-ish like. Um, I would like to ink this. Uh, maybe I'll give it in some brown. Just, I mean, she's already, she's already old. Don't tell her I said that. But she's already old and aged, but we're just aging it up a little bit more. And this is an original old photo. There we go. That's, that's very pretty. And we want something here. I don't know. I, I suffer. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, okay, what's this? Here's a little flower stamp. Maybe we want to do a little flower stamp. Maybe I'm going to use the aged mahogany to put a little color over there that's um, pulling. Okay. Oh, I got flower there, though. I'll just do it, man. Okay. There. Oh, yeah. There, there we Now we have the cat's pajamas. Okay. There we go. Can you see? Can't see it all. Uh, there we go. Um, focus. Okay. So hopefully that is serving us well. Um, there we go. So one spread done and two pages done. Okay, so let's um, open up another page and see what we can do with an envelope. Okay, here's a page back. Got some blankaroonies back here. Now I just got to locate my envelopes. Lo okay, they're right here, right where I left them. Here we go. Here we go. Actually, let me get the torn one. Oh, yes. You know, this one had the little tear. And at first I thought, repair the tear. Use a little washi tape. Yeah. No. No, we're not going to do that. Actually, what we're going to do is we are going to... We're going to... Okay. We are going to take our scissors and we're going to... Is that the scissors? Oh, we're going to take our um, craft knife and we're going to rough this baby up. Yeah, we got to rough it up. Okay. Okay, we're going to make a long, tall... And actually, let me get my scissors. We're going to make a long, tall pocket on one side. 
and I'm just going to follow the shape of the, the envelope. There's so many things we can do with envelopes. Envelopes are the probably um, one of the most versatile things you can use in junk journal land. And now this is open, but before I close it, I'm going to come up in distress. And it was a little tear in this envelope that gave me the idea. So thank you, little tear, instead of fighting you. See how easy that distress is? I mean, let me, that's like lousy focus. But look at that, see? See how easy that is? You don't need any fancy tools. Just get your little craft knife. Be careful, of course. You know, you don't hurt yourself. I don't want to be hurting themselves. So, because when we do this, Oh yeah, see I even got a tear. That's that's okay. Yeah, I don't I don't mind that because I want this envelope to look like it's been back from like World War II. Let me back you up just a little bit. Um and you can be pretty aggressive these guys. I mean you cut, might cut off a chunk, but that's alright. You roll with it because you want it to look like an old tattered envelope from days gone by. And I think we're gonna have fun playing with the Aquarelle Stabilo pencil. I feel that coming up. I think I feel lots of maybe inking and distressing and um, oh, here it is. It's very fun to do. It's very satisfying. If you don't mind that scrape sound, I don't mind it. I think it's kind of a cool sound. Um, all right. So now I'm going to retract because that's always safety measures. And then I think I'm going to crumple this. I'm just going to crumple this because I think it's going to it's going to really make it look cool. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, let's open it up and see what we got. Oh my gosh. We've got a crumpled paper. We've got a crumpled envelope. Now we can go ahead and glue this piece. Yeah, sure, Pam. That's going to be really easy after what you did. Don't glue it yet. Because why? Because we're going to distress it with colors. Okay. Where's that voice coming from? Gosh, I don't know. All right, let me back you up just a little bit. Where's the perfect place? There. I think that's good. Okay. All right. The, the, the sharper your crinkles, the better, I think. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so let's get some, uh, I'm, I'm just using old daubers. Whatever, this is like the whatever we got. I'm just going to run over the top. It's picking up all the little uh, peaks, avoiding the valleys, just dirtying it, grunging it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. This is kind of fun. If you've never grunged, I highly recommend a good grunge. Yeah, it's like reminiscent of playing in the mud puddles. We're getting dirty on purpose. That's right. Yep. Okay, this looks is very cool already. Now let's add some other colors in. Um, <clears throat> maybe a little bit of the green. And in and, and certain areas, you know, you don't always have to you know, use them all in the same area, but you can kind of go um, classic hodgepodge technique. <laughs> if you don't want to get anything on here, don't, uh, don't use this as your background. <laughs> But for those of you who are going to, you know, here's brown. Okay, we've never real uh, good brown. There we go. I'm going to dirty up the edges. Now we're going to Honky Tonk Palace with this. That's right. We are going all the way, and we're going to make this really dirty, grungy looking. Yeah. And we try and get those edges because they're going to pick up ink nicely. Yeah. And then we're going to even super amplify it with the old Aquarelle Stabilo pencil. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And just be afraid to give it a good rub in certain parts. You know, you like, yeah, yeah, little little oddball areas. Not everywhere, but just like random, random. Another nice color to use, which I don't have the. Oh yeah, I do. I don't know if it still works. This is like an orange wild honey sort of color. That's a good rusty sort of get in there. And this thing is just falling apart. I got to get rid of that. Okay, we won't use that one. Um, uh, that's a good thing to like a. What's this? Fossilized amber. There's something I never use. Uh, let's try it. Let's just try it. Okay. Let's get. Well, here's this. Is sort of clean. Okay. I, I don't know if I've ever used this. Um, okay. Yeah, it's just random spots. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See how that just kind of that kind of livens things up a little bit. Yeah. And you can keep doing this. I mean, there's really you can't go wrong adding these weird colors. It's, it's, um, here's pink, but I'm going to, I'm going to use the aged amber. It's sort of a pink, not really, but, oh, well, here we go. Um, pink it like, uh, like that. Yeah. Rusty, ready pink. Just, you just keep going. Yeah. And, and, and whenever you're done, you're done. You just got random. 
Okay, kind of cool, right? And this is like more fun than anybody's allowed to have with an envelope. That's all I'm saying. Um, so now, I made a mess of that page. We'll have to cover it up. Okay, I'm going to put this here, covering that hole. Put this here. I'm going to close this up first of all. Oops. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. All right, and now we're going to do the back. I'm going to glue it down. This comes together pretty quickly after you have your, your fun times um, with it in that particular way. With all the, oh, you can put more glue on that pen. You got a glue shortage around here? You got 72 bottles over there in the corner. I know, I'm always afraid of running out of glue, so I, I backstock a lot. Okay. I'm like, it would be like, I should have to do a video with just using flour and water as my glue. Yeah. Uh, go back to, you know, olden days when, you know, you had to work with what you had on the farm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my mom would always have it. You had to work with what you have on the farm. Okay. And now it's probably a good idea. Come along at this point and just reintroduce the opening to your pocket so that you know that the back is covered, but the front pocket is open. All right. And uh, that's pretty already, isn't it? It's just lovely. I know. So what's going to go on here? That hole? No. Maybe we'll put you there. Maybe. You got possibilities there. We'll just leave you there for a minute. All right. I'm just looking over here in my little area. And uh, what would I like to do? Um, I really liked using that. That was fun. That was great, greatly rewarding. Um, this would be a nice place for, oh, that would be nice too. Oh, that's very pretty. That's nice, isn't it? This is a vintage field guide of uh, old flowers. And we could put that in here. Let's see, it fits nicely. Oh, I like that, yeah. We could do the old uh, washi tape trick. That was fun. Let's grab some washi tape. Um, no, no. Let's do it a little differently, though, this time, Pam. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab, I have these butterflies. And if I can back them up onto each other. Now, that's not the right shape of a butterfly there. But not you. We'll put you, you're going to flutter by a different day. But today, you are up. And then... This is a basically washi tape stickers on a roll. Sometimes they're hard to get apart and sometimes they're not, but I want to show you what we're going to do here. This may or may not work, but we're just going for it. We're going to make a pull tab by putting one of these backwards and one of these forwards at the top, if I can get them apart. I think I'm, I'm making progress. Okay, there we go. So let's see. Okay, you're a little smaller. I'm going to put you here. A little lower. I'll put it in the middle, Pam. And even would be nice. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad for an early day's work. Um, I don't know if you're too far. Too far? Oh, well, there we go. Okay. I'm going to put this one here on top. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay, so now I have an instant pull tab. Okay? So that, that's kind of a cute way to use your... Uh, um, if you have stickers like this and stuff, oh, I just found this really pretty sticker. That's nice. I'm going to put you over here somewhere. That would look nice in this corner, I think. Let me just shrink it up just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you, you're you the same colors. So we're just going to put you down because you've presented yourself. Oh, you're very beautiful. Look at you. You're very beautiful. You would look very nice there. I might just use you there. I'll put you over here too. You would look very nice. You just look nice everywhere. You're just one of those uh, little little pictures. Okay. All right. Let me put the birds here. All right. All right. I'll glue you down there. Maybe we'll make you a side pocket. Yeah. Let's just make you a side pocket right on this. Okay. Here we go. Just because we can. Yeah. We're just goofing around. Just goofing around, having fun. Okay. I don't mind that there's a little white around there. I think that looks kind of cute, actually. And then maybe this lovely lady drove this fancy car. Maybe she did. But before we give her the fancy car, let's get that Stabilo pencil rolling. And um, let's get a cute tip. A couple cute tips. Always good to have when you're... Oop! I just shot a cute... Oh, don't eat that, Sonny. Let me get the cute tip. He's fine. Okay. And my squirt bottle. And then we are ready to rock and roll. Okay. 
All right, so here is the, let me show you if you haven't seen it. It's a Aquarelle Stabilo Pencil 8046. There you go. And it writes on paper, glass, plastic, and metal. And the whole idea is basically very fun for the grunge factor. Um, okay, first of all, I want to outline this in the Stabilo Pencil, which looks nice on its own. If you don't have a Stabilo Pencil, you can always outline with a black colored pencil or a regular pencil. It'll give you some definition to your work. Probably take that out. Okay, there we go. And then I think I'm going to emphasize the lines of the actual envelope. And then I would go around Sally Pants here. Yeah. She just says, I'm ready to be grunged. I'm ready to be grunged. Okay, Sally, settle down. It's going to be all right. All right, here we go. There we go. Okay, so now I'm taking my water bottle squirter. A little, a little dabble do ya. That's my cup. You can use a cup if you want. Okay, now I'm soaking the Q-tip in water. And this is where the little magic happens. It's just really pretty when you get that nice grunge factor going. It's just a water-soluble grungy kind of pencil and here we go yeah oh, a little over there that's okay and we'll go this way upside and, whoops i went off off the scale we'll just keep going up yeah it's okay yeah you could either get that up too yeah it's okay you can kind of draw with these and just have fun with them you know you don't it's nothing official but it gives everything a little more pop a little more emphasis and a little more grunge. So if you like that look, there you go. You are in happy town today. It will not um, uh, grunge over glue though. So if you have any silicone glue or something like that that's down and, and you didn't wipe it away, it'll, it won't cover that area. Just so, just so you know, you've been told, okay? Uh, now where did I put my, okay. I think I wanna do these edges like right on the, the yeah, there we go. Yeah, more like that. More intense, more intense. Did I get that? Did I, oh, I didn't do that. There we go. And that little area there. Okay. Very nice, right? Could put something here and I think maybe a nice little uh, rubber stamp. Look really cute right there. And let's see what we got. What we got? Um, how about this one? It's a nice little shape. And maybe we're going to come out with the... Uh, since we were working with the aged mahogany, that's what this is, the aged mahogany. I'm just gonna have it right there. Let's see if this is good. Yeah, that's kind of good. A little surprise there. So when they put that open, there's something there. And I'm gonna put this little guy back in here. In you go, don't be shy. All right, I'm going, I'm going in, I'm going in. Don't rush me. I'm not rushing you, you're all right, okay. There we go. Now maybe we need something along the top. Oh, what is this? I, have, I just have this sitting here. It's just a little some a little hoo-ha. And sometimes that's all you need. It was a circle punch out of some embossed book page. But, you know, it's just sitting here and it says, I would like to be used in this project. Please, please use me right now. Okay, so you are being used. We're putting you in the corner for some strange reason. There we go. All right, that's not the best spot for you. Let's take you off there. Went, no, I'm stuck now. Don't take me off. Let's no. Oh, I got half you off. Oh, now we destroyed the whole piece. Okay. Uh, look at me. I'm. In, I'm now. Oh, look at it. my life is over. Though. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We'll we'll make you another one. That's okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Well, we just you know we won't talk about what that that just happened. No, 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 no. First of all, let's give her the car of choice. Does she want this car? Car A or Car B? These are tea cards from England. And uh, maybe she wants two cards because she's that kind of lady. She goes places and yeah, that's kind of cool. Way to go, yeah. And um, yes, okay, so this has gotten kind of mucky unky. So I think the best thing to do is roll with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink around the edges, dirty this up a little bit. And make it look like it was all planned, yes. And I'm just gonna put some random, you can do that, you know. You can just ink up a, a random page, dirty it up a bit. Got some dirt here, going with some dirt there. Maybe a little of the, yeah. 
give it a little. You can actually frame with your ink pads, your ink daubers with the residual ink on them. And um, yeah, you're allowed to do that. You are, here's some green, 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 and green, 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 and edge. I'm gonna like darken certain areas. Yeah, yeah. Random, the randomness of it is, is I think what, what brings it to life. So there you go. Kind of fun, right? Um, okay, so that's envelope number two. Uh, and let's carry on to envelope number three idea. And these are very simple, very basic envelope ideas. Nothing complicated here. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, it's kind of a nice area. Well, maybe we need to put something in the front. No, we need to put something in the back. Okay. Okay, so here's another area. And here we are, guess what? With another envelope. Okay. So we did this one, we did the in the middle. Okay, so now let's, let's do uh, uh, like a, this idea. Uh, we're gonna do maybe this side. Um, this is going to be a flip open. Yep, flip, flip. We may have done some envelope flips already, but we're just gonna make this one a little different then. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's take this envelope. Maybe we'll flip up. Don't think we've done that. Okay, so let's take our cutter and cut it down to size. Would we say half? Probably. Half would work well here. Let's just cut this in half. Um, okay, now we have half an envelope. Uh, okay, now what we can do with this, so it doesn't look like half an envelope, uh, we can fold it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, turn it over. And then we're going to follow this. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to follow the flap. And look at, oh my God, it's a, it, it perfectly fits now. Uh, pretty much, it's a little low on that side, but that's okay. It's all right. It's going to be fine. Uh, so we have that one. And actually, I think we can do two. So maybe we'll do um, like battling pianos, you know, like dueling pianos. We'll do dueling flips. Yeah. Dueling flips. There we go. All right, so we want to seal this side, and I think I'm going to use washi tape to do that. I just, I am compelled to use my washi tape up. Okay, this is pretty washi tape. I think that goes with the color theme of the journal, kind of um, pinky, pinky, not pink, please, Pam, uh, teal, like a green, blue color. And we will just seal up our, oh, i got to find the end. Okay, found it. Uh, seal this up. Okay, actually, what we're going to do, yeah, I've got an idea. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to work, but <clears throat> you see how this starts low? Okay, so even with my little flap, it's low, like there's an empty spot here. <clears throat> I'm just going to make the edge. Yeah, put that on there. Was it long enough? It wasn't long enough. Way to go. We'll just add more. Okay, so what have I done? I've technically made more of an edge there. I don't know. Does that make a difference? I think it's kind of cool. It gives the... Uh, Trompe look like that's the edge of the, the paper. Okay, this is how it should have gone. Mm -hmm. Isn't it pretty? This is a great way to use up your washi. Just bordering some envelopes. It's so pretty. Um, okay, we'll use you in a minute. More washi. I'm just gonna use this for, you know, matching purposes. Like we're giving it a border on both sides. Okay. The top. Okay, fold it over. Okay, that wasn't totally even, but it, I, it still is. It's, it fits the biscuit. All right, that's very pretty. Um, now, okay, we did one. Maybe we should do the other one as well. Yeah, let's do the other one as well. We'll do complementary ones. Yes, we're going for a, a look, a theme here. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, I'm going to measure this one up. This is all very easy, playful stuff, very fun, very quick to make, um, basic supplies, nothing super fancy here, and you can always improvise. And remember, never let lack of a craft supply stop you. That needs to be the inner mantra of all of us because we don't always have every craft supply, and um, but, but you do have your ingenuity and your creative mind, and you can think your way out of the box and use something else, improvise, um, use something instead of, maybe there's something better, you know, that's awesome. And the 
to there, to there. Squish you down, fold you over, trim you off. See, this is what happens pretty fast. No biggie at all. Okay, now I think for a little um, background intrigue, I'm presenting to you tree stencil. This is tree stencil, and uh, it's one of my favorite stencils. Um, and if you're looking for it, I do have it in my Amazon shop, um, which is different from my Etsy shop. I know it's confusing, too many shops, but um, we're working on that. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you some fast background here. It just works really easily, really quickly. Again, it's hard to make a mistake. Okay, but it just gives a little, a little something to the background, you know? And you can also use multiple colors. You don't always have to stay with the same colors. No, you can uh, do different colors. Where's it? Okay, looking for my green. Here it is. Okay. Just gonna get a little, oh, oh, I'm stuck. It's got, it's got me, it's got me, help, help. Okay, that's all right. Now I've moved it, but it's okay. I don't need to go back and find the exact spot. Do I, do I? I'll kind of try, okay. There we go. It's pretty easy to find where you were. And I'm just kind of giving the edges a different color. I, I like to do that sometimes, maybe down the center. Does that get a little, there we go. Oh yeah, we got a pretty background now. Look at that. We could just call that done. You know what I mean? We don't really need to um, do more, but I just thought the white of these would pop so nicely there. Um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do, where's my little green? Okay, here it is. Come in here with the green, just ink that up. Not too much going on here, just a little basic inking, nothing super fancy pants. Almost a trim there. And then this one, same thing, just a little, just a little, not, not much to speak of. Just a, a will o' the wisp, you know, just barely present. Okay, but I think I'd like to do them opposite. Yeah, I think that would be kind of cool. All right, so we will take you, we'll glue you. With uh, you could use any glue here, it would be fine. Yes, okay. Go to them from the sides, too. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, that would be very neat. I'm gonna do two that way. Yeah, oh, I like that idea. Okay, let's do that completely. Yeah, forget upsy downsy. They're out of there. Okay, all right, here we go. Just putting one here. Just maybe leave a, a tiny eighth of an inch there so you're not butting up against yourself, you know? It's never pleasant. <laughs> and more glue. Little dabble, do you? Okay, 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 there we go. See how when I do that, I take it to the edges that way. That makes it easy so you don't have to stick your fingers in it eternally, Pam. Okay, there, just about an eighth of an inch away from the fold. So it always opens and closes nicely. And then we're gonna look for our cap. We're just going to have some fun here. All right, now, what do we have? What do we have? Okay, let's look what we have. Where is my little thingy? We have two envelopes. Okay, so since I like this kind of envelope down here now because then you're gonna see something peeking out, which is uh, very advantageous to us right now. So what seemed like a giant quandary in the beginning is now our friend. All right, so let's find some fun things to stick in there that fit. Okay, so fun thing. I'm just looking over here in my fun things pile. Okay. Um, ma -na -ma -na. Ma -na -ma -na. Oh, we can always use old book reaches. Oh, you're kind of cute. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Okay, that's probably too bulky though. Okay, this might work. Um, this is a an autograph page from 1941. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I hope this doesn't break, but it's, it's to Dear Margaret, Mary Sue, Mabel. No, it's Mabel. So Mabel. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to put this here, and I can make this fit. I'm not going to super crease it, but just little crease it. This would be a perfect shape for in here. There we go. There, now you can see that there's something in there. And then we'll just find something for the other area. And something fun. Let's, we're just looking through our bundle for something fun. And I think we'll find something fun in the bundle. Um, oh, this is kind of cool. We could use something like this. Oh, these are neat too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
So here is, okay, we've got a couple of these. That might be fun. Or we could use a label. What, would this fit? Oh, I don't know. That might be too wide. Huh? Let's see. I could take the plastic off. Let me see. Let's see if it fits. It might be too wide. Yep. Oh, no. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. No, a little, little snug. A little snug in the bun. Okay, here. This is a, a label. That's kind of cool. I put that over there. That might look neat. Um, maybe I could use a piece of the microfiche. Yeah, let's try that. Cause that look intriguing. There's my cutter. Here it is. Does this cut microfish? I have no idea. Microfiche. Do you have to say fish? It's not right. Fish. Oh, it cuts microfiche. There you go. Yeah, it goes. All right. Apparently it's from Sears. Yeah. All right. There you go. And you're in. Very good. I can put you over here. I think that looks kind of cool. This is a label from Hofbrau Pilsner Beer. Because, um, you know, you never know when you're, you're walking through the woods and you come across two envelope uh, secret pockets that you might need a beer for this experience because you don't know where this is going to lead. That's right. I just think the color tones in that look very nice. There we go. You are there. All right. And um, there we have our flips. And um, we can certainly put more on those flips. Um, but I think that that actually looks really pretty and very, um, see there's a, a lot of what I call noise in the background. So having something simplistic here balances that feeling. Um, oh, look what I found, another one of these. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll see if we can find a place for you somewhere in this creation. Let's see if anything just happens to say I want to be on here. Oh, that's kind of pretty. That's very pretty. Let's see what else we have. What else do we have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have, oh, we have. Oh, we have some of these little people. Oh, people in here? People in the woods? No. All right, we're decorating and we're decorating. We're just goofing around. Whatever we got, we got. That's what we got. All right, let's see what's this. They're little squares of unknown. I don't know. I think, I think. No. Maybe you there? Okay, I kind of like that for balance. Are you a sticker? Sometimes I can't tell. Sometimes it's just paper. And, and you forget when you throw over it, you get it. And then you're like, was this a sticker or was this just paper? And you don't know and you sit there and try and pull it apart. But you know you've had problems getting stickers apart before. So, you know, nobody really knows. <laughs> okay, put you there. Okay, put you there. And, um, see something? Oh, you're pretty. Oh, yeah, oh, that, that might be nice there. Okay, let's do that. You might be a sticker. No, 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 I think you're a paper. I, I three tries and you are a paper. Unless otherwise, uh, you know, you know of it. But this just looks like paper to me. So we're going to put that up there. It's got, it has the same color palette. There we go. You open this up, open this up. And maybe I'll put some stampy stuff there. Uh, just for fun. You know, just because we're, we're here and we're doing stuff. And maybe, oh, this little butterfly a fairy stamp. That might be nice. Nah, I don't think so. Not the right theme. How about, oh, oh, okay. The heart. The heart of something. Um, let's try that. All right, what color should we use? Let's use the uh, aged mahogany because we have it out. What on earth is that nice? Oh, that's, that's my husband. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, very nice, very nice. I think I'll put the same one up here. Yeah. Little uniformity there. Okay. Oh, very nice. What a smashing success that was. Okay. And then flip and flip. And um, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, and you had a little extra piece of washi tape. Well, no. You could take a little piece of washi tape like this because you had it left over. And you can make a little tiny flapperoo showing that there is something to turn there or pull. And um, that just might, oh, there's a sticker on top of that. How odd. Um, no, no I, can, I can do a little more now because I thought I couldn't, but I can. And that says, there we go. Well, how are your time-wise? Oh, we are long. Okay, so. 
Um, well, we're already at 49 minutes, so this is maybe as much as we will do with this one. So maybe we'll do two more in the next video of what you can do with envelopes. How many did we do? One, two, three. So we have one more, maybe one more to do. But as you can see, you can do lots of things with envelopes and um, they can all be different. Um, uh, so you can use your creativity to go places. <laughs> so um, Sunshine, Sunny, come here. So you, want, you, you want to have a quick word? I want to follow dad upstairs. I know, I know. Come here. All right. Do you have any, any um, public service announcements? Um, you, you should have something to say by now. You've had time to think about it. All right. Okay, okay I'm coming in. Coming in. Hello, everybody. I'm wide awake today. Well, I'm going back to sleep because she's rubbing my ears. You know how I love that, Mom. Um, so, everybody, um, make sure you get inky fingers today. And if you don't like inky fingers, then maybe tear some paper or cut some paper or fussy cut or glue or, you know, all those crazy things you guys do. But just make sure, most of all, have some fun. Yeah. Okay, that's, a, that's great advice. That, I love that. So an excellent public service announcement. Thank you very much, son. So, um, uh, welcome aboard everybody who is new. Thank you so much for everybody who has been here a while and hanging out in Paper Town here, just having some fun. Um, I have a free monthly email newsletter, and if you haven't um, signed up for that yet, you, by golly, why don't you sign up? Why? Because you get a free digital image emailed to you every month that you can print out and use any way you like in your artwork. You get a uh, note uh, from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and you can put this in the front of your junk journals. And um, you get a checklist of junk journal supplies to keep your eyes open for, uh, updates from me, tips on how to make junk journals, um, and um, I'll up new new um, digikit peaks, things like that. Um, and also my videos, they come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. I have an Etsy store where you can find journals when they're ready and bundles when they're ready. And I always have my vintage digikits in there. There's about 156 or 160 in there right now. And uh, they're themed, they're five pages each. They're easy to cut out and they're um, great to use for pockets and tucks and journal cards and journal tags and bookmarks and all sorts of fun things. And um, I also have fundals in there, which are collections of old and interesting papers like ledgers and checks and receipts and postcards. And uh, um, I make hand dyed papers and I include them in there as well as um, some very interesting vintage and antique book pages. And there's over a hundred pieces and uh, there's all sorts of different things you're gonna find in there that a junk journaler uh, might find interesting. So it's a great place to explore what you might like to look for in the future. And also a great place to feel and touch old papers, the different qualities of the old papers, the different feels, the, the thin, the soft, the, the rough, the um, porous, the fiber. I mean, there's just so much fun in there just feeling the papers. Um, and um, also I have a print and mail option. Let's say you would like to get digi kits, but you don't have a printer at home. I have a solution for you. I will, I have a service where you pay one fee and I print and mail 10 digi kits for you. All I need is the names of the digi kits. You don't need to purchase each individual digi kit. You just send me a list of the names of the ones that you want. Uh, to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com. That's my email address. Or you can message me in uh, Etsy and give me your list that way. And I only need the first two or three words of the uh, name and uh, you're off and running. And you get free priority shipping with that as well included. Um, I have an Amazon shop. So if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies and things like that that you see me use, um, that's a great place to get started. It's an affiliate link. Um, I get a small commission if you purchase through those, but you do not pay more for the items. So it kind of uh, helps both of us. And um, what else? Uh, oh, I have a, a new uh, section in my Amazon shop called Books uh, for Junk Journalers. Um, they ha I have a collection of interesting books in there that we often look for. There's some Edith Holden, some sticker books, some field guides, and other interesting books, some catalogs, things like that, that people search for. It's a great place to start your search. Um, Amazon used to be a bookstore. Um, you'll often see uh, new or used options to purchase, but also I recommend checking uh, they're not always the lowest price, but check for um, your online bookstores um, like Thrift USA or um, Thrift Books or um, Better World Books. There's other. There's a whole bunch of them out there. Um, look around. Look on eBay. See where you can find that book. You'll be able to see the pay the t uh, cover, 
the author, the ISBN number, the publisher, all that type of thing there to get your uh, search started for the best deal for yourself. And um, I have a podcast, which is audio. So if you want to take me along, let's say you're driving in the car, but you just can't get enough junk journal stuff. I'm into my fourth year now. There's lots of topics to pick from. And um, uh, just come on over. It's free to listen. It, if you listen wherever you normally listen to podcasts, or if you don't have a special app for podcasts, um, you can just click on the link in my description box down below and you can just listen for free on whatever device you're using. And um, if you'd like to find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. All my links are in the drop down description box below. Most importantly, please remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. <laughs>